27th annual Watershed Education Summit made its return to El Dorado County recently. So what is that? Well, high school students across the county uh, get to apply their science skills in the great outdoors. Yeah, your reporter covering El Dorado County, Shelby Riley, is showing us how students and the Forest Service are working together. The Watershed Education Summit is four days long, and leaders describe it as one of a kind, as students learn all kinds of skills and collect real data. And we actually came to this site in 97, and it was pretty much a mess. Upstream from us, there were beds in the in bottles, cans, it was a human disaster. Stan Iverson is the founder of the summit and says the idea came to life in 1997. He says it's now a partnership between the El Dorado and Georgetown Divide Resource Conservation Districts, the U.S. Forest Service and local high schools. They get to run the protocols. They get to see how the ecology is done in the field. They get to collect the data. They get to look at the data. And teachers like me get to bring the data back to the classroom. Around 60 students gather for four days and test water quality at three different streams. They also learn how to monitor watershed health and learn how trees impact the water quality and overall landscapes. It's a learning experience, but it also gives all of us so much more of an appreciation for what the people uh, the adults out here do. Elizabeth Scott is a senior at Union Mine High School and says she loved it so much last year she came back again. Senior Josh Haley shares the same story. I was really curious um, in taking classroom science and putting it into the field and really charting um, specifically for cross sections the topography and slope of the streams. A four day summit allowing students and professionals to expand their skill set and build environmental awareness. It is so wonderful for a teacher to realize that something you created is still carrying on. If you want to participate in next year's summit, we have more information over on our website CBS 13.com. Well done. Such a cool program to see happening.